Hi, Dr. Paula Sauer here. I am going to talk about the sideline rotator cuff series that we did earlier. The first version we did was with a free weight or with no weight. Today we're going to add resistance in the form of a TheraBand or a resistance band. Um, this is a progression to the first video. So if you're starting here and you find that these exercises are too difficult, go back to the first video we provided in the sideline series. Okay, so you want a lighter TheraBand. I'm using um, equivalent to a green one. This is a, a neon green. There's different manufacturers for these. So this is on the lighter side of the resistance, uh, but it's not the lightest one. Certainly you can buy sets of these online if you wanna start with the lighter one if you have a recent injury. But if you just have like a nagging um, pain in your shoulder that's persistent, you can start with slightly more resistance. Um, and this is gonna help correct the rotator cuff. So you'll lie on your side and you wanna give yourself ample resistance here and length on the TheraBand. I have this pegged under my hip, under my bottom hip. You're just gonna lie on your side, support your head, and then test out what feels good for a rotation this way. Maybe you need to take your hand a little closer to where it's pegged down underneath you and that gives you more resistance. You want it so you're challenged by 10 repetitions and you don't want to get through 10 of them and go, wow, that was super easy. All right, so let's get started. Shoulder blade down, elbow by your side. Grab the TheraBand, you're gonna rotate it up. Take a look at your wrist and make sure your wrist is staying very straight and neutral. And three. Four. five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. Good job. Now straighten your arm. You may have to change where you're grabbing the TheraBand. Give it a test run first. Okay. Thumb up, shoulder down, ready, lift, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, one more, 10. Good job, ready? We're gonna take our arm forward like it's going on an imaginary table, going up and then back down. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Because this is a progression, we're going to do both sides. Now we lie on the other side. Give yourself ample space with that TheraBand. Take your elbow in by your side and then begin rotating up. One, two, three. Check that your shoulder is down and your wrist remains straight. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Straighten your arm out. 
Give it a test run. See if you have the right amount of resistance. Good. Ready? Lift up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Great job. Now we go forward into shoulder flexion and then back down. And two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Good job. I hope you enjoyed this video using this TheraBand. Uh, surprisingly, these things can give you a pretty good workout and it should feel different than when you were using a free weight at home. Now, you can also do the progression with using a heavier free weight from the first video and that is also considered a progression. Once you're doing progressions, I want you to do both sides because we want to keep things very even. And what you'll start to feel is that that weaker side is gonna catch up to that stronger side. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. Feel free to leave comments and questions for me. You can leave them in the comment section below or you can send me an email at paula at alignptla.com. I will see you all very soon. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.